Today we're going to talk about singletons in Godot. Hello folks, Andrew here from Yellhead Games. Today we're going to talk about singletons, what are singletons, why are you using singletons, and all this stuff. This is going to be pretty much a fast help because it's very very small topic. Probably if you're creating your game from a while now, you probably got into singletons because you need them. But what are singletons? Singletons are basically simple JD scripts that Godot can autoload them on the beginning of the game. So let's go and watch them inside Godot and Jane. Okay guys, before we even start, I just want to point a little bit more what singletons are. Now I tend to call them global because they are globally accessible. What do I mean with globally accessible? You can access to these files in each point of your three, no matter where you are. In each point of your scene, no matter where you are. In each scene you want. Basically, you can access them everywhere, anywhere, whenever you want. After we start, I'm going to show you where they are located in the scene three. They basically are going to be located just after the root scene before your actual scene. Now how do you create a singleton? A singleton is just a JD script so you basically need to create a JD script and I'm going to call it global global just because I like this name. After creating your first global or singleton whatever you want to name it it really doesn't matter. We need to go to projects, project settings and auto load and here we need to find our file and the file is this and the name here you can change it you can give whatever name you want but I'm going to leave global because global is fine for me and just add it it is already enabled and that's all we need to do now what can we make with with this singleton we can create functions here or can we can create variables that we can access whenever and wherever we want. Now before we start I'm going to declare a few comments here and uh, variables. Like you can see my comments kinda out of format so if you want this little plugin just go to my each page links down in in the description and you can download it. it. It is helping me a lot because I'm getting in good habits of about commenting and variable my points for example equals zero and variable my name equals android dev okay here we are now we have our singleton already saved i'm going to save it and what we're going to do i have already connected this two buttons with the signals and these are two strings two labels what i'm going to do is just to change you know by pressing the first button I'm going to add 10 points to the point now how can I do that basically I can do that just by calling global my points like you can see and plus equals 10 for example 100 okay that's fine and I'm going to change this this text just by putting here global and retrieving my points and that's all now under here this other button I'm just going to set the text to my name so global my name okay <clears throat> let's see what is going to happen now if I'm going to click this button here it's going to add 100 points each time and it's going to display it if I click this, uh, it's going to set the text to that other variable. Now I'm going to show you where your global file is named, uh, where your singleton is loaded. Basically, if we go to remote here, you can access basically the dynamically your scene, what is happening in your game. And like you can see, here's the root, here's your file global. And there's your scene get it now and another important thing it is that your data while the game is running is going to be preserved basically if you change scene if you load another scene nothing is going to disappear what you changed in your variables is going to be there for the next scene it's going to be available for the next scene as well so basically it's a good way to conserve I don't know maybe your inventory from level to level 
maybe your points from level to level, your coins from level to level. This is just an important thing for your game. We are at the end of the video. Basically, these are the single tones. Hopefully, you learned something. If you want to support this channel, please leave a like, comment, or just subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see some live stream game dev, just go to my Twitch account. I'll I'm doing my best to to stick to Twitch as well on live stream. All my other socials are there. So basically, Twitter, Instagram are there. So go and check them. And if you want to play my games, Limes and Sliders, uh, just go and check it on itch.io. So, Andrew here from Yellow Hat Games. See you next time, and more important, keep devving games!